So here's one of the upstairs bathrooms. Um, right when you walk in, you can see there's this kind of old tile. It's just sticky tile. And there's a pedestal sink, a new toilet, and um, this kind of floral wallpaper, which I really want to change. I'm going to try to work with the tile the way that it is right now, but I'm not exactly sure if the color will work, so we'll just play it by ear and kind of see. Um, and there's, of course, this clawfoot tub, which I do plan on painting, and I'm going to change the flooring and the color of the um, outside of the tub. And at some point, I'd like to do something different for this setup here, just because it's not the most attractive. And um, I'd like to change out that light fixture. This one over here isn't too bad, but we'll see. Um, and then probably a larger mirror above this sink. I'm going to see if I can back up just to get more of it in there. So this bathroom needs a little bit of work, but I think with some unique touches, we can get a nice updated look, but still kind of keep with the vintage feel. Because of the cost of different projects we want to do around this house, um, we're kind of doing this bathroom on a budget, meaning we're going to choose finishes that aren't quite as expensive to kind of get the biggest impact and change in this space without um, spending a fortune on it. Um, one of the things that we're going to add is this tile. These are sticky tiles. Um, I ordered them off of Amazon. I think they're on Walmart's website as well. Um, so I think those will look cool in here. They'll kind of have an interesting vintage style, be very different from what was here before, um, and just um, kind of bold. And I think it'll be really neat in this clawfoot bath. So the floor is a little bit of a mess. Um, there's a little bit of the adhesive on it in places that kind of catches dirt and other things. Um, so I still have to clean it, but here is the floor. So I didn't um, include part of the video on how I did this because to be honest, it's sticky tile um, and it's kind of a just trial and error to cut and get it the way that you want it. Um, so I just kind of worked around the things that I had to, um, lifted the tub onto um, the flooring, but obviously went around the um, toilet and sink and all that stuff. And I plan on going around kind of the edges of everything with some um, white caulk just to make it um, look a little bit more clean around the edges. So that was a little bit of a project, but at the same time, you know, sticky tile is pretty easy and it's a fairly inexpensive way to update the flooring of a space. So I just made sure I had the floor nice and clean um, and then just kind of worked my way um, from the doorway through the bathroom. So other things that we did is um, disconnected what used to be up here for a shower because this is just going to be a tub bathroom uh, because there is one more bathroom in the house that is that does have a shower so we didn't think that it was necessary for this one to have one too so we did that and i picked up paint for the tub um, and the walls and i i do think i'm going to paint this tile um, and then another project that i did up here you can see so um, to the right is the old style that the light fixture was. To the left is kind of the newer look. Um, so I got seated glass shades, vintage style light bulbs that are in an appropriate um, color temperature coloring because you don't want the lighting too yellow because it just doesn't work when people want to get ready and are applying their makeup. So um, I chose this lighting color um, of the vintage style and actually it's LED um, bulbs for this fixture. So I'm thinking I might paint the fixture um, black just so that it goes with other fixtures I've chosen for this space and it's kind of an easy way to an inexpensive way to update this fixture without actually replacing it. Plus this is on a pull cord which 
probably isn't the most ideal, but we're still kind of trying to do a lot of things around this house, so it's a low priority thing to actually replace at the moment. So for now, I'm gonna see if I can just um, save it by changing the finish, the glass shades, and the light bulbs. So, um, yeah. The first thing, or I should say the second thing um, I'm gonna do in here is start painting the tub. So I'm gonna just get started with that. I already cleaned it so that the surface doesn't have dust or grime on it, um, so it should be pretty much ready to go. And I'm just painting the exterior of this clawfoot tub, not the inside. The inside they actually just um, painted, so um, yeah, I'm gonna get started on that. Okay, so the tub is painted black, um, so that part of it's done, but I still have to paint the Tootsies. So, um, basically, I want it to kind of look like an antique gold. I don't want it to be um, just, you know, solid gold, because I want some of these details to show up. So to make the details stand out the way that I want them to be, I kind of want the darkness, because I'm going to do two colors, I kind of want the darkness to go, um, to show up kind of where the deep parts of the um, pattern is. I don't want the darkness to sit on top. So that means I need to make sure that with my dark color, I get the paint in all the little grooves. I don't necessarily have to do all of this. I just need to really make sure it gets in the grooves. And then I will go over the top of it um, carefully with a lighter color, um, the lighter gold, and that'll make sure that it um, just catches the highlights so that the shadows stay in the grooves. So I'm going to get started on that. basically the look. So it kind of shows off the details of the feet a little bit more than if it were painted just plain metallic gold. So it's kind of a two-tone look and from a distance you can see it looks nice with the black of the tub. <laughs> So while I'm waiting for the other paint to dry, I decided I'm gonna start working on the walls. Normally I would remove the wallpaper and not paint it, but because this house is over 120 years old 
and this is the original um, plaster in this room, I decided to leave the wallpaper up because it is probably concealing some cracks and it'll just um, give a nice smoother surface to paint. So I went ahead and touched up seams on the wall with um, some kind of wallpaper seam touch up glue and now it is pretty much ready to paint. I see one nail that I need to remove, um, but then I'm going to get started painting. So here's the progress so far. Um, the tub is painted, obviously the flooring is in, um, got the nice little clawfoots painted and antiqued. I painted the radiator so it would look a little bit better and match more what's going on with the colors of the tub. And I don't know if you can see it, but I painted the fixture, changed out the bulbs and shades. I decided to turn the light off just so that I could show you quick um, what I did up here. So basically the same kind of idea as the clawfoot tub, but um, instead with black as the first color and the bronze as the second color. Thank you.